So now that I have my 2x2 two two Lego, this is the first part of Lego Tower 1. So let's go ahead and make our 1x2 Lego, which is the second part. For this, we have a couple of ways we can do it. Our first option is we can come back to our top view here, and we can go through the same set of steps that we did to make this Lego, which means we can grab our rectangle tool, we can make it to the specific dimensions, we can outline it to manually input all the studs, or we can do uh, some Lego math in SketchUp. So I'm going to show the Lego math option. Now what I mean when I say Lego math uh, is this. A 1 by 2 Lego is equal to 1 half of a 2 by 2. So essentially, if I just took this Lego and had half of it, that's my 1 by 2 Lego. We might recognize that uh, from the measurements or even if you're just looking at the Legos, it kind of makes sense. Now in SketchUp, there is a way for us to do that. Uh, and in order for us to do that, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to select my 2x2 two two Lego and I'm going to make it a component. To select my Lego, you can do what I did, which is with the select tool, you can just click and drag a rectangle all the way around. Make sure that you get the entire Lego so that everything has this blue outline and these blue dots. You could also triple click. So if you click on your model three times, you'll notice that it selects everything. The first click just selects one face, but triple click selects everything that that face is touching. Once I have everything selected, I'm going to use my mouse and I'm going to right click on my model. And in this menu here is this option to make it a component. When I make it a component, essentially this just groups all of the objects together and makes them one thing, which makes it easier for me to make copies and move them around. So I'm going to make this a component and I'm going to name it 2x2 Lego. And I'm going to glue it to any axis. Once I have the name and I've glued it to any axis, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll notice now this Lego has this outline all the way around it. And from the side view, you can see it's encompassing even this space uh, above the Lego where there is no stud, but then it includes the stud as well. So that's what it looks like when a Lego is a component. Now for me to do that Lego math that I was talking about earlier, I'm going to go ahead and with the Lego selected, I'm going to hit Control C. Control V to copy and paste my Lego so that I have two more of them. This first Lego, sorry, this, eh, this Lego, this one right here, I'm going to leave it alone and I'm going to do my Lego math with these two Legos. So what I'm going to do is I am going to line these Legos up over top of each other as best I can so that there are three sets of studs uh, and this set in the middle is the two Legos overlapping. Now when I line this up, this might take us a couple of tries because I do want to line it up as perfectly as I can. So when I'm doing this, I'm going to zoom in quite a bit and I'm moving them with my move tool. So as I zoom in, you'll see that my move tool will snap to endpoints. And if I click on and move endpoints, that will allow me to make much finer movements and get everything uh, really precisely aligned. So you could see right over here, my Legos weren't fully lined up, so one Lego was a little bit higher. So if I click on the endpoint and then click down here on the edge of that other Lego, it helps to line it up. You can also see right here that my circles, my studs are not aligned. So I can also click on the end point of that stud and move it so that it matches. So what it looks like when these Legos are lined up, again, we've got our two Legos that are overlapping each other right here in the middle. This is what it looks like from the top view. I'm also going to view it from the front view just to make sure that one Lego isn't higher than the other. So some people, <laughs> so 
some people when they're doing this they might have one Lego that's higher up and you'll be able to see that more from this perspective versus just the top perspective so it is important to check from different angles to make sure that everything is actually lined up the way you want it. So once we're lined up from the top perspective and the front perspective I'm going to come back to view this on an angle and we're going to use the subtract tool. Now before I click on the subtract tool it's important that I don't have anything selected. So you can see that this one Lego is still selected, it still has the outline around it. So in order to deselect it I'm just going to click over here in empty space and now you can see that neither of my Legos are outlined. Now for the subtract tool it lives right in here so it's the fifth stack up from the bottom. It's stacked with the outer shell and union tools and it's the third tool in this stack and as again as you hover over it you'll see that it's called subtract. Now down here on the bottom it gives you some instructions. The instruction is to select the first solid and as you hover over your solid component you'll see that my mouse now has a little number one next to it. So I'm going to click on that and that becomes solid component one. My instructions now change, now it says select second solid and you see now my mouse has a number two. So when I click on my second component, SketchUp does some math for me and it subtracts the first component from the second component leaving the second half of my Lego which is now the exact size of a two by one Lego. So I've got this component, I've got these Legos. Now is a great time for us to save. From here, once I have both of my Legos, the only thing left for me to do is to go ahead and stack them so that I actually have that Lego tower. Right now I'm just changing my view Again, you can use these tools to help you change that view. It might be nice to start on a little bit of an angle here. So that's this view right down here in the corner. And I will be using my move tool to help move these components. Playing with the move tool can sometimes be a slight challenge. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to go ahead and put my 1x2 Lego on the left side of my 2x2 Lego. Now they're on the same level, so if I switch to my front view, from this perspective, I can bring it up to the correct height. Now a couple people, as you're doing this, again, if you notice that your Legos don't match up perfectly, that's okay. Try zooming in a little bit and selecting corners or edges. When you select specific corners or edges, at a zoomed in perspective, it will help you snap to different spots. So if you have, if you select one edge and drag it over to another edge, it will snap to that edge. So now as I zoom back out and put myself back on that angle, you can see this is Lego Tower 1. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and save now that my tower is all assembled.